today I'm doing a requested video and that is a hair tutorial how I do my you know the wavy curls that I usually have so that's what I'm gonna show you today and I am also going to tell you about that ghost I saw once because many of you have been dying to know that story yeah let's start I have already put two products in my hair because I do that when I wash my hair and when I blow dry it. So that is the Root Boost from Moroccan Oil and Heat Styling Protection also from Moroccan Oil. And I use this one to get some volume up here because I have very flat Scandinavian hair. Unfortunately, I did not get my father's Moroccan hair. I got my mother's Scandinavian hair, so it's like very flat and very like fine hair. <laughs> so I use this one to get some volume and then I also put some heat styling protection in it and then I blow dry my hair with my head upside down <laughs> like this. Now you know. <laughs> and when I've done that I start with the curling iron. So this is the curling iron I use. It's from Pose Styling Tools. It actually has many different kinds of sizes, like a big one, I, this really looks like a dildo. Uh, I use this one sometimes as well when I want them to be like very loose, just like a small wave. I also use this small one, you know, when I have that super curly hair. But most of the time I use this one, the 18 to 25 millimeter one. You see it's a bit thicker down here and then it gets smaller. So let's start curling. So this is how I do it. I'm not sure if I do it the right way. I'm sure there are plenty of other better ways to do it, but this is how I do it. How, how I do it. How I do it. If you have thicker hair than me, then it's probably better to put some parts up and start with the hair underneath here. But since I don't have so thick hair, I can just do it like this. Cause yeah, and it goes super quick when I do it since I don't have that much hair. I start from here and put the hair like this back and when I put it around the curling iron I kind of twist it a little bit. Then, And as you might see I have a little bit extension in now. I have it sometimes especially for photo shoots and events. I'm going to Cuba in a few days uh, for a campaign shoot with uh, Nelly, so I put some extensions in just to get it a little bit thicker. So usually when I curl my hair it takes about two minutes. <laughs> it takes a little bit longer now. So once again I do like this and then I twist it a little bit when I put it around the curling iron. That was one side. It looks very curly now, but I'm gonna brush it out later. Okay, so the ghost story. I know some of you will not believe this and some of you will. It depends on if you believe in ghosts or not. I have always believed in ghosts, so I wasn't shocked when I saw what I saw. Uh, but I was really scared. So I was 17 and I was in Greece and I was there with my friend and it was my first, you know, hearted resa, like party trip. We had been out one night, but it was a very early night. I think we had maybe two or three drinks, but then we were tired from the other nights of partying. So we went home, we went back to the hotel. So we were not drunk, I, I was not drunk. And then we go to bed and I, couldn't fall asleep so I was just lying there in bed and then I opened my eyes. I was lying on the right side of the bed and Mira was lying on the left side of the bed. Um, so I was lying on this side uh, with my back against Mira. And I opened my eyes and there was this carpet on the floor uh, next to the bed. I opened my eyes and I see Mira or Maria. Uh, Maria, I guess it's Maria. It sounds so weird to say Mira in English. I saw Maria on the floor and I was like thinking what what why is she on the floor what is she doing on the floor so I 
turn around and look at her side of the bed and she's lying there so it wasn't her on the floor i turned around again and look to the carpet no one was there no and we had this closet next to my side of the bed it was a big brown closet and it had like a bar i had my dresses on one side of this thing and then there were drawers like from here drawers down so it was like a shelf like this and i had my dresses on that side and we forgot to close the doors to this closet when we went to bed so when i looked down at the carpet again and i see nothing i look towards the closet and i see this is i'm, I'm not kidding you now i see a little boy sitting on the shelf he was sitting like this, I'm going to show you. Smiling towards me. I panicked. I took the blanket over me and I was too afraid to move. I was too afraid to breathe. I was really scared, you know, I thought someone would come and pull me in my feet, you know. I cried myself to sleep hiding under that blanket. And when I woke up in the morning, I told Maria about it and she was like, why didn't you wake me up? And I told her I was too afraid to even breathe. I was too scared. I remember exactly how this little boy looked like. Uh, I remember the, that scary smile on his face and he looked exactly like I thought a ghost would look like. He was white grayish, a little bit transparent and I think we had two more nights at this hotel after this night. Let's just say I had troubles falling asleep after that, but I didn't see him again. And this was nine years ago now. And the memories start fading a little bit uh, every year, but since I wrote a blog post about it, I remember exactly what I, what I saw and my thoughts, and I will always remember what that little boy looked like. And yeah, I haven't seen anything after that. So that was the story about when I saw a Greek little boy ghost. Why don't you tell me if you've seen anything like this or felt anything like this, why don't you write a comment and tell me about it? Because I have many friends that have seen similar things. So I am sure that I saw a ghost. Okay, back to Curly. <laughs> So now I put some hairspray on. Uh, I use different kinds of hairspray every time. Now I'm using Wella. Wella. And try to spray down my baby hair. And I used to cut it so that it was like really short. And I'm just waiting for it to cool down and the hairspray to dry. When I use the ones that is a little bit thicker, it doesn't get like this curly. So it depends on what mood I'm in. So now I'm gonna brush them out and I use this kind of brush that is a little bit nicer to the hair. At least I was told. And then I put some dry shampoo just to get a little bit more structure up here. Right now I'm using Water Killer Dry Shampoo from Evo. I use different ones all the time. I'm that kind of girl that goes to the store and just like grab something. And I just put a little bit just to get some structure and some volume and then I end it with some Moroccan oil oil down here to get some shine and less frizzy you know and I'm done so this is how I usually curl my hair and since many of you have been asking I use shampoo from Kerastos and this one is called Anti-Dandruff Solution Shampoo and I use it because I get dry scalp in the winters. Also, Nutritive Mask Intense. Why do you have so complicated names? And this is a hair mask but I use it as a conditioner also from Kerastos. Okay, let's end this. Thank you for watching, see you next week and if you have any other wishes on videos you want me to make just write a comment below. Bye! 
anti-dandruff solution shampoo because I have a little bit dry scratch. Asså, jag orkar inte mer asså, det här, det här går inte. Nu lägger jag ner asså, jag tar bort den här jävla kanalen.